very simple experiment that looks at multiple images formed by a plane mirror. There are a lot of interesting things that you can do with a plane mirror. For example, you could put targets uh, or obstacles along a table, lay out positions where mirrors could be, and have students decide which way the mirror should be pointed in order to hit some target at the end of the table. This adds a little bit of competition, so that makes it a little bit interesting because the students don't get to actually aim a laser at the mirrors and see if they can hit the target until they've done all the math first. In this particular experiment, we use two plain mirrors, and they have to be mounted in some way that the angle between them can be continuously changed. I just have them on a piece of cardboard scored on the back and they're held on with a bit of double stick tape. Obviously, you don't want to do this with your very best front surface plane mirrors. Um, and you also don't want to put the tape on the aluminized surface, so that's the end of those mirrors. You can also use clothespins to hold them vertical or whatever kinds of clamps you have around the lab. The object is to determine how many images appear in the two mirrors as a function of the angle between them. So you begin with the mirrors at a 180 degree angle, and you put some small object, I'm just using a cap screw, a few centimeters in front of them, and then the object is to change the angle, and notice when you get new images appearing. We use protractor to measure the angle between the mirrors for two images, four images, six, eight, and so on. Another interesting aspect of this lab is not that you see multiple images in two plane mirrors, which everyone who's been in a department store dressing room has seen, but that the graph of number of images versus angle isn't a smooth curve, it's a step function. And there aren't many opportunities in an elementary or uh, intermediate science lab to study step functions. Uh, everything we see is a smooth function. For example, velocity is a function of time. In, in those graphs in the physics book, distance displacement is a function of time. But this kind of hints at quantum mechanics because the number of images is a step function of the angle.